Hello everyone, it feels so good to be back. If you didn't even notice, which I would be so sad, but if you didn't notice, I didn't post for like two weeks, so I'm so sorry about that. But I'm back, and you may notice some freaking huge changes. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video, I think I'm actually gonna make a separate video um, talking about the new displays and everything, so just hang tight for that. And if I sound different, um, that actually, there's so much happened, it's insane. Uh, I actually have like, Invisalign now or braces, so excuse my little lisp if you kind of hear it here and there. Uh, but yeah, that's new too. Just so many changes going on, it's been absolutely insane. But, anyways, that's not the point. Let's get into this. So, today we have Crocodile Banjo from Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> he looks so good. It's Banjo turned into his little croc form, and it is a figure from First Four Figures. So Super exciting. Here at the very front, we have a little gorgeous picture of Croc, and he's in his like mid-transformation state. If we look to the side of the box here, we see another picture of Banjo. It looks like a three-quarter angle, um, but it's pretty much the same as the front, except with like the, without the logos. The other side actually has a couple of more like close-up pictures. One with Banjo's little face, we have the back of his backpack, and the very base there with the jewels and his little feet. And finally, for the back here, we have kind of like a whole story. Um, basically talking about the statue itself, like why he's transforming and everything. Here, I will give you a close-up if you want to read all that good stuff. Go ahead and pause. But let's get into the good stuff, which is opening the statue. Ta-da! Here's the styrofoam. I very, very much, and I do want to point this out, appreciate the fact that they have those handles now on the styrofoam. It makes it 20 times easier to take it out of the box. Oh my goodness, I love that. In the back here, we have just like croc banjo, but in styrofoam form, which, hey, I appreciate. I'm not mad at it. I actually really like that they just have like these small little details. I appreciate it. All right, I laid him flat with the right side up. That way we can take him out. So let's go ahead and take the card out. Look at it, it's just so cute. I actually really like these cards because it gives you something kind of cool to display with the figure. Let's open her up carefully. We have three things here that we want to take a look at. We have Croc himself or Banjo, the base, and then we have like the little transformation swirl. So let's go ahead and take everything out. That way we can assemble him. God, this thing is so cool. It's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be too, actually. Let's put that to the side. Oh, but it is heavy. It's actually quite heavy. <laughs> Tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. Oh my goodness, they really got like the, the gunk in the toes right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is for my husband. He's going to be super, super happy with this. Wow, this is actually still quite nice. Oh, it's actually got a magnet there too. Alright, so I don't think he lights up or anything. So, unlike some of the other Force 4 figures that we've seen, he should not come with a power cord or anything like that. It should just be him. So, let's go ahead and assemble him. And, actually, it looks like I have it the wrong way because this is where Banjo's tail is going to be inserted into. So, let's go ahead and turn him around. There we go. Yeah, because then this guy is going to... I need to wrap him around here though, right? Like, how does this work? I want to try and get this here in the back. So it's just just be careful while you're doing it, but it is it's definitely doable. And here's a little boy fully assembled. He looks so freaking cute. And I, I'm going to be honest, they kind of blew it out of the water with this one. Here's our little Banjo Boy, fully assembled, looking super freaking cute. And if I'm being honest, they, they completely knocked it out of the park with this one. I love things that aren't static, that have more dimension into them. And this pose really does look like he just finished transforming and he's about to hit the ground and he's just super happy. And I absolutely love it. Moving on to the base, we do have this beautiful textured wood pattern my god not only can you see the individual like 
planks themselves but the actual wood grain that you would see on these planks are so freaking believable and they do have a little bit of shading here in between the planks just to kind of insinuate that, that that would be shaded there because it is a little bit darker and then you have the highlighted middle i love 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 the paint job that they went with here the teeth actually have different depths they're not all flush some of them are but for the most part you have some here that's like deeper another one that's higher and i love that it just makes it feel like it was actually carved out by like a human or animal or whatever and yeah it looks fantastic moving on to banjo now when we look at his body he looks so happy to be transformed i absolutely love the shading that they have going on in this entire figure you can see here that like in the in between of his folds they have like an, a nice subtle darker like yellow to, to tan and his little shorts <laughs> oh my goodness the fact that he's even wearing shorts are beautifully textured in that like that jean pattern you know what i'm talking about the scales here look like an actual freaking reptile and i love it and can we just talk about the gunk in between his claws where it would probably be really dirty because like you know he's a reptile he's walking on the floor and it's such a like small detail i think i referenced it earlier but i absolutely love it stuff like this is what blows me away quite honestly but with all that being said let's go ahead and talk about some of the details and of course pricing material for this figure is resin that's why we have the higher fidelity in detail everything looks absolutely spectacular and that's why he's a little bit more weighty as for dimensions banjo's height is 8.3 inches or 21 centimeters his width is 6.7 inches or 17 centimeters and his depth is 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters and his addition size is actually tbd on the website uh but i'm pretty sure it's out of a thousand and we have number 300 so that's actually pretty cool i love that for crocodile banjo i ended up paying 200 249 dollars and 99 cents that doesn't include uh tax or shipping or whatever uh, additional custom fees you have to pay for your country importing all that good stuff and he does not have any light up features he does not have any like motion or sound it's just the figure just the figure on its own he's he's tiny than i thought he was gonna be but again I'm not mad at that because it just means that it's going to fit in my displays a lot better. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. But that's it for me. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the good stuff. Come be part of the clouder. I would love to have you and so would Rico. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.